happy Sunday Monday family coming to you with a quick video weekly as promised as needed from the garden so today we are going to talk about sprouting wheatgrass so um, this is my second time doing it and uh, first time went pretty well so it is a um, um, not too intensive process to do this as well as you know it just kind of grows it really doesn't need a lot of help so I hope you're all doing well and growing your gardens and watching them grow I will give you a few updates on mine my squash and zucchini cucumbers have sprouted not sprouted excuse me have flowered so I'm excited about that so um, so while I'm waiting on things to grow that I like to eat eventually at the end of the harvest season I like to play around with these quick little things that are gonna grow really fast that I can eat obviously herbs is another option as well but so I'm just really into smoothies and different things like that right now and um, trying to um, and improve my health so wheatgrass is where I am right now in terms of what I'm growing inside that I can immediately consume within literally about five days. So for wheatgrass, um, it improves your digestion. It's known to uh, um, help your cholesterol, lower blood pressure, um, metabolism. So there's a lot of different health benefits to it. I got these seeds off Amazon looking to also always get a uh, supplier with uh, a relationship with them so I'm working on that in terms of some of these other different things that I have but for now um, just to let you know I all I buy all my seeds from melanated organic seeds um, you can find the company on um, uh, if you google them um, and so I get all my seeds from them I just recently found out that they sell um, uh, um, sorry uh, why am I drawing a blank here? They sell uh, microgreens, excuse me. So um, as you know, I, I, I had a microgreen video. As you see, I'm dabbling into microgreens and just kind of trying to figure that out. And uh, yeah, I have some seeds that aren't sprouting. So I just recently found out she carries them. So I'm so excited about getting them from her. And when I run out of this bag of wheatgrass, I'll be talking to her about that as well. Anyway, so um, so yeah, so we're sprouting wheatgrass today. I'm gonna do them in these pans, and you're gonna see that. So let me turn this camera around. So this is my first wheatgrass attempt. I'm gonna pull up this thing so you can see the seeds. I mean, not the seeds, the um, the bottom of the. Uh, look at all those different. Um, look at all those um, roots, man. I didn't realize the root system was so um, intense. So uh, these are the um, my latest harvest. Not a lot right here, so I'm not gonna be juicing this. I'm gonna be um, probably putting it in a smoothie. But anyway, I got these pans here. Got my dirt in there. I added some uh, water to um, get the soil moist, and actually it's kind of kind of a little too moist at this point. But anyway. It'll be okay. And um, I'll get the other pan as well. So for this, we're just going to um, sprinkle seeds. Some more. Pardon me, I gotta go get some dirt to put on top of it. So you just sprinkle a thin layer of seeds and then I'm gonna grab some dirt to kind of just put on top of it. It's kind of a little dry, which is okay. This is what this layer I'm gonna put on top because the uh, soil at the bottom is so is so uh, wet. So anyway, you're gonna put a thin layer of a thin layer of this soil on top 
without disturbing the um, without disturbing the seeds that you just planted or sprouted, laid down, whatever you want to call it. So look. So you get the point. Yeah. So you're going to moisten, I mean not moisten, you're going to water this daily. I'm just going to probably uh, use a spray bottle, spritzer spray bottle, um, you know, for a few days. And then I'll probably move on to like my, you know, regular um, watering spout that I use indoor. So that's what you're going to do. I'm going to try to oops, take this into my little greenhouse to show you what we're gonna do next so I have this greenhouse here got from Aldi you probably saw it in my microgreen video so I have some seedling heat heat mat heat mat you see um, 10 inch um, by 20 and uh, as you can see they have some germination charts here but anyway i'm going to plug that up and i'm going to let the magic happen and let the seed germinate and i'll give you an update every week on the sunday chat so you know what it looks like and how it's growing so i'll put the other one in there but again that's what my greenhouse looks like um you can close it if you want to, to create some type of um, greenhouse effect. I've got these domes that I use for some of my other plants. So I might just sit back on top of it as well. Because what we're doing here is we're simulating, obviously, the germination process that would happen like outdoors, um, you know, because the sun heats the earth. So we're doing that with a seedling heat map, heat map. And then, of course, I've got a grow light that I'll cut on as well. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you know, they say indirect sunlight. So I'm probably not going to cut this on um, to begin with. But I'll just, you know, let the natural light come in here from this window daily to give it light. So, anyway, that's the video for Sorry, I'm on my cell phone. Y'all, I'm going to get it together and get all that camera stuff set up. But for now, I'm just going to give you what I got. And this is my best. So, yeah. So, that is what we're doing for the day. We're growing reed grass while we wait for our harvest of bountiful, plentiful food that will nourish us and our dinner tables come um, you know, our ultimate harvest will be in August. You know, if you've got some stuff ready, let's talk, you know, in the July time frame or even June time frame. I know a lot of you guys really got your stuff going in the spring early. So you really have some things that are ready to eat. So more power to you. Right now, I am eating herbs. I'm eating wheatgrass, as you can see. Oh, I got some broccolini. That is popping. I am so excited about this broccolini. It's, I'm loving to see it grow. Look at these flowers. Look at these flowers. That is so cute. It's such a cute plant. So look. Boop. Harvest time. Mm. 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 Y'all, when you get anything in your garden, go eat it. It'll keep. It'll give you life and keep you going. Um, like you, like you saw the uh, latte, beetroot latte video last week. I wasn't eating my own beets, but I'm dreaming about it. So anyway, okay, hold on. Phone went out. Anyway, one last thing before I let you go. I'm trying to keep these to ten minutes or under. Oh, look at these! Look at my baby! Look at my baby! So yeah, my baby. Uh zucchini cucumber whichever one it is I forget because um, I didn't label those are growing so anyway 
signing off homecoming harvest let's see if max want to holler at y'all real quick you know he's always in the business you want to say bye max i guess that was a bye love y'all family see you next sunday